as young people, we have to broaden our, our mindset, right? Thinking that the government will always be there for us is very wrong per se. I know the government is the one that has given the responsibility you know, to, of course, you know, deliver you know, our human dignity, you know, our rights, yeah? But there are also other stakeholders in play. And that's why the United Nations come in play. That's why NGOs come in play, you know, embassies and the like, right? The government, of course, does you know, do all these things, but there's a whole other sector, the private sector, that, that's there for us as a youth to capitalize on, right? So what we do, right, as we engage the United Nations and engage our partners and stakeholders, right, we try to seek and see, okay, fine, how can we foster innovation among the youth? How can we tell the change a narrative, right? Once you empower a youth, you know, and tell them, hey, here's how you can actually build up and become better and tell them how they can be self-reliant and of course, resilient. You can help a youth not become so much dependent on the government and wait and say, you know, I'll wait for Sarkali, Sarkali to do this, no. As young people, what we try to do is try to say, you know what, we're giving you the tools and skills to be able to actually come up with your own job, entrepreneurship, right? To be able to kind of be innovative. And I think the key here for now, I personally feel like is, how do we make the youth to be innovative and tell them, hey, this is your future, own it and take it. There must be ownership by us as the youth to say, you know what, I won't wait for nobody here. I'll make the space for myself until they notice me, right? You know, and that's the thing is you cannot just say, oh, you know, I'm, I want this, oh no. But are you actually doing something? Because I feel as the youth, we say, I want to be in government. I want to be here. I want to be there. But you're not doing anything about it. You're sitting at home watching TV and Netflix. Nothing is happening. So the question is, how do you actually actively make yourself to actually be used, you know, and to actually be a valuable person, an asset, you know? And that's what we try to do as KMUN. We make the youth to become assets by engaging other stakeholders who have the goodwill that maybe our government lacks, you know? The UN has goodwill. Recently, <laughs> September, they passed a new resolution to establish a UN youth office, specifically to handle youth policy from a UN perspective. If it is established well enough, it can be able to kind of spearhead, of course, youth policy from a global level, of course, harmonize it with the African Union and regional bodies, and it will trickle down now to the local level. And that could be a very, very powerful tool to empower the youth. But beside policy, beside anything else, I think it's, it's a call for action, you okay. know? Because without action, I mean, a policy is good on paper, as Lavender said, but if there's no actual thing we're doing proactively about it, it will stay on paper, it will be good. I mean, yeah, but nothing's happening on the ground.